specifically that she was concerned for her welfare about going home? Yes, she had some concerns about that, and I had some concerns just from talking to her, too. We are learning new details tonight about what happened to a family of eight who were found dead in southern Utah six weeks ago. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby joins us in studio tonight with information from calls made by people who knew the family and led to police finding their bodies. Mythili. There are still many questions we don't have answers to, like the timeline of when the family in Enoch was killed. But we are learning more about phone calls made to law enforcement from people who knew Tasha and Michael Haight, saying they were worried about them and they wanted police to check on them. The house is clear. There are multiple victims. Like That's from police radio when officers were doing a welfare check and found the bodies of the Haight family in their home in Enoch on January 4th. Michael Haight shot and killed his wife Tasha, his mother-in-law Gail Earl, and their five kids between the ages of 4 and 17 and himself. But I know that she was a little bit concerned for her safety. One person who called police says she could not get in touch with Tasha and was worried. She was going through a divorce and was going to go back to her home last night. They had to do some paperwork. And I'm a little bit concerned. We had a, we were supposed to, um, we had an appointment scheduled that she missed. And she doesn't ever miss appointment. That call was made an hour after Tasha missed a virtual appointment with the caller. She says she was concerned about her because of her husband, Michael, saying he had anger issues. Uh, he has had some violent tendencies in the past, and I believe CPS has been involved, and I actually believe she came and spoke to the uh, police department a couple weeks ago to let her know this was divorce was upcoming. The caller says she couldn't reach her by phone or email and that she knew there were guns in the house. I'm actually thinking he might still have access to those, but they are at least locked up in their house. Enix City officials say all eight of them were found with gunshot wounds. Another caller says Michael's brother-in-law reported him missing. He had appointments lined up at work but didn't show. Michael wife served him with divorce papers within the last two weeks. And he's kind of been struggling with it whatnot. But one more caller said she was just worried about the family and hadn't seen them. It's been 20 years since we have heard from anyone. Another caller was an attorney for the family who said there was something going on at the house and he was just trying to figure out what that was. We also don't know what led to Tasha filing for divorce after being married to Michael for 20 years. But we will continue to follow this story and keep you updated as we learn more. Live in studio, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah. Maithili, thank you. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, free support is available 24-7. Just call 1-800-897-LINK. That's 1-800-897-5465. You can also find resources from the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition at udvc.org.